Whether you're looking to improve your whole workflow, improved performance or more creative options, Lumix have just announced a brand new firmware update for the S52 and the S52X which further secures this as one of the best hybrid mirrorless cameras out there. Now Lumix have very kindly given me early access to an early version of this firmware to make this video but it will be available for public download on the 22nd of April so when it is available I will make sure it's linked down below in the description. If you're a videographer or filmmaker you might be familiar with the term proxies. Now proxies are a separate video file which you can generate that are designed to make your post workflow production much simpler and easier because video editing can be very heavy on your computer. You've got some huge files and some potentially very compressed codecs. So for that reason, you might want to generate a proxy file of that original video file, which is still linked to that original video file. It just means it is much easier to edit with and transfer to other people, potentially if your editor is on the other side of the world. And usually you do this within your editing software or by using a proxy generator. Now though, with the new firmware update for the S52 and the S52X, you can generate proxies simultaneously at the same time as recording your footage in camera. That is a huge bonus for anyone that does use a proxy workflow because it means you've not got to sit and wait for your when did that go off? It means that you've not got to sit and wait for your computer to transcode and generate proxies. It's all done in camera as you are filming the footage and then they're straight there on your SD card ready to send off to your editor or upload to the cloud or just start editing straight away. It's really easy to get set up as well. So you're gonna come down to the first image format menu and then up will pop proxy record settings. So you can turn it on from here and then you can choose your record quality from there. And obviously the smaller the file you choose Choose, the less quality you're going to have but it means that your editing software or uploading it to the cloud is going to be much much quicker and then you can relink that to the original video file for when it comes to color grading and exporting. Now I believe that you won't be able to record proxies in high frame rates like 100 or 120 frames a second but if you do shoot RAW, Blackmagic or Apple ProRes to an external recorder you can also record proxies internally at the same time to an SD card as recording RAW externally. That that is going to save so much time if you use a raw workflow. There is also new functionality with Frameio or Frame.io with camera to cloud functionality. And this is huge. What you can do now, thanks to this update, is upload to Frameio directly from your camera. And that, again, just streamlines your whole creative process and post-production workflow. And it works over Wi-Fi and USB tethering. So those proxy video files that you might have just recorded, you can directly upload to Framio and your editor can download them and crack on with the edit straight away. You can upload JPEG and raw photos. So you might be building a project mood board on Framio with collaborating from other people and people can start commenting on them and things like that. Or they could just be directly sent over to the client for approval before you do start editing those photos. Things like that, it just speeds up things so much. Again, it is really easy to get set up as well. So you're gonna come down to the first settings menu and then the in out menu and you will see Framio appear at the bottom. It's super quick to get your account set up and linked to your camera. And then you can choose your connection setup. So whether you wanna transfer files over Wi-Fi or USB, you can then choose your upload setup. So choose the files that you want to be transferring. So maybe you just want to be transfer in some JPEGs and then you can choose the files that you want to send straight to Framio and it just works. The other main improvement on this new firmware is with the autofocus and as we all know the S52 and the S52X made a huge leap forward in autofocus performance over other Lumix cameras with the new phase detect autofocus system. It made a massive difference in performance and it meant that Lumix got even closer to competing with other camera brands as well in this area. And that gap has been closed again because they have now introduced Animal IAF car and motorbike autofocus, the same as what we saw previously on the brand new G9 II. I think Animal Eye AF is probably the one that I'm most excited about playing with because I have a cat and I like taking pictures of my cat. But I do also enjoy quite a lot of nature photography sometimes as well, if um, taking photos at zoos counts as nature photography. 
don't think it does, does it? On top of this, there is also improvements to the electronic image stabilization. Again, just improving on how good the stabilization on these cameras already is with the whole IBIS system. The EIS is just another step on top of that. And there is also a brand new pre-burst shoot mode, which means that as you half press the shutter button, it's already gonna start retrospectively taking photos, which means you have an even greater chance of not missing the photo. That is perfect for if you shoot fast moving things like sports or wildlife. I think this is like the third or fourth update for the S5 II and the S5-2X since it has been out and it has only been out for just over a year and that for me just goes to show how committed Lumix are to listening to creators and their needs and that for me is what makes it such a great brand and I genuinely love using their gear. So let me know in the comments below if you think this update will be useful for you. Don't forget to hit subscribe and if you want to know more about Lumix cameras I recommend you watch this video next and I'll see you there.